Well, um, it's been a little while. I hadn't posted anything for a while. I've been just kind of um, resting and taking some time with my family and different things. But the word of God is still the word of God. And the times we're living in are still very interesting. Um, I came on here today to just solicit your prayers. Uh, according to the word in Second, Second Thessalonians 3 and 1, it said, uh, Paul asked that they uh, that, that people would pray for him. And I'm asking the same thing. Pray for us, uh, EX Ministries, uh, Adam and Believers Council, uh, the body of Christ as a whole, and uh, other churches and pastors that are out uh, really trying to keep things together during this time. Um, we all need prayer. So um, I'm asking you, according to the word, to pray for us because the Lord began to deal with me about something um, that happened Earlier last week, uh, we posted uh, part eight of Final Hour Power uh, called Stan. And that particular video was taken down by YouTube and the powers that be that did not like that video. Uh, so they just removed it. Like, we don't like what you're saying. Um, <laughs> so they considered it inappropriate content. Um, even though YouTube is full of stuff. I mean, from Cardi B and... Megan the Stallion song, WAP, WAP, and uh, Lil Nas X giving Satan a lap dance, and then even the Saturday Night Live version where he gives supposedly someone representing who, representing God a lap dance. Uh, all of these things are still on there. They're not inappropriate. That's not inappropriate. Um, you know, uh, sexual content, lewd things, all those things aren't inappropriate, but a message of truth a message of hope and a message that encourages people to live their lives better by eating and doing the right things for their body and their immune system to try to strengthen their own ability to fight off disease and viruses and different things. That particular video in 2021 is considered inappropriate content. Where are we all? <laughs> I mean, are you really paying attention to what's going on? Um, are you really watching how the enemy is using social media and television and different things to, uh, to to just increase fear in the hearts of people to where they give up on their body's own ability to uh, heal themselves, to produce antigens, to produce antibodies, to do all of these different things. Um, they're giving up on that and just going to trust what is being offered uh, as an antidote for something. Y'all, I... Where are we right now? Where's the church right now that would close their doors? And even though the governments or different states and different things have opened, opened up and allowed them to have service, they still prefer to not join in together in in-person services. They still prefer to not uh, be close to their brothers and sisters uh, to show the love of God and to hear the truth. I, where are we all? Where are we? God spoke something to my heart. This is exactly what, what he said. He said, men with no reason will always attack truth because truth and reason upsets angry men. When God spoke that to me. I, I just began to think about, you know, um, uh, the time we're living in now and how men are so angry. Uh, people are angry because their lives didn't turn out the way they wanted them to. They're angry because they don't have everything that they see others with. Uh, they're living covetous lifestyle. Uh, they're angry and anger makes you irrational and there is no reason there. And so when there's no reason, people will attack truth because truth is reason. Truth is God. Truth is the spirit of God, according to the Bible. So the spirit of God, the Holy Ghost is the spirit of truth. And because he's the spirit of truth, people that have no reason, people that are upset, people that are angry, will always attack truth. They'll always attack it because they don't have reason. And God began to deal with me about that and show me how self-hatred causes them to hate, you know, uh, truth because truth will incriminate their decisions. Truth will make them feel bad about the decisions they made. And so they will always try to attack others because of that self-hatred. So 
Y'all, it's a time to pray, and I'm asking you to continue to pray. I'll continue to pray uh, for you, and um, we'll continue to preach the gospel of truth. Just give us a little while here while we kind of just kick back and relax and rest and really get recharged and refueled. But 2 Thessalonians 3 and 1, I want to leave you with this. It says, finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you. So this is a prayer we all should be praying. Pray that the word of the Lord have free course so that the angry men don't stop it, so that the you know irrational men don't stop it. All of this censorship and all of this that's going on is totally irrational. It makes no sense, but it's a part of the narrative that they have created. So we must pray that the word of the Lord would have free course. Uh, three and two says, and that we may be delivered from what? unreasonable men and wicked men, unreasonable and wicked men for all men have not faith. And this is Paul talking. All men have not faith, meaning they don't believe what we believe. They don't, don't they don't have the faith uh, that we have. They don't have the faith to really truly trust what the Lord is saying. And this is not just people in the world. This is people in the church. They don't have faith. So they become unreasonable and wicked because they do not fully believe what the word is saying. Uh, three and three says, but the Lord is faithful who shall establish you and keep you from evil. And that is my prayer for you, that he keeps you from evil. Let that be your prayer for us, that he keeps us from evil. And we will continue to preach the gospel here. We will continue to share it, uh, uh, you know, uh, when we can. And when they block us on one channel, we'll put it on another one. Um, just, just, just look out for that. But continue to pray for EX Ministries, Adam and Believers Council, my family. I'll continue to pray for yours. Thank you.